In Alias 2013, we've added new functionality to Trim and Trim Convert. Now, in addition to trimming by projection or curve on surface, you can trim by intersection. Additionally, there are improvements to the user interface that I'll also cover. First, I'll demonstrate trim with the surfaces in this air dam. Here I've isolated the area and created a new closeout surface that will require the flange surfaces to be trimmed. I'll start with trim. Select 3D trimming and intersect. If history is on, changes to the closeout surface will affect the trimmed flanges. You can select surfaces individually or drag select if possible to save time as I've done here. Select the intersecting surface. Drag select the surfaces to trim again and choose the area to keep, discard or divide. Here I'll select keep. As in 2012, if you select the wrong area, you can revert, restart the selection and try again. With Trim Convert, the process is similar, with the result being a trimmed surface with natural boundaries. Select 3D Trimming and Intersect. For this example, I will not need the default Keep Originals. Select a surface to trim, the area to keep, and intersecting surface. If you select the wrong side to keep, you can revert and drag the region selector to the correct side. Trim and Trim Convert are just two of the many tools in 2013 that benefit from new interface features. To maximize screen space, we've added a Collapse and Expand option to the palette, shelves, and control windows. Double-clicking the title bar or clicking the arrow will collapse or expand the window. To choose the collapse or expand direction, click and hold the arrow to select a new arrow. Auto Hide is a new feature that enables windows to collapse or expand automatically. Click the three bars on the title bar, or right mouse click anywhere on the title bar and select Auto Hide. With Auto Hide active, only the title bar displays when the cursor leaves the window. Mouse over the title bar to expand. The state a tool is left is the state it will return to when reselected. For example, if I leave Trim in Auto Hide and select its control window again, it will display in the Auto Hide mode until another display option is selected. Help is available for the palette, shelves, and control windows by clicking the three bars or right mouse button clicking on the title bar and selecting Help. The palette, shelves and control windows will now snap to the edges of the application window. Left mouse button drag the title bar until the window snaps to the desired edge. The palette, shelves and control windows, when snapped together, can move as a group. Left mouse button drag a control window with the shift key depressed and snap to a desired window. The title bar of the parent darkens. When the parent is moved, the attached panels move with it. To separate, left mouse button drag the attached panel away from the parent. 